So, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the strings together for my acoustic guitar last minutes. Because you know I'm a last minute kind of guy. But I figured I'd do a little double duty. Since, while suffering the consequences of one bad decision, it's good to numb it down with more laziness. So I figure I talk to you guys about the state again, as usual. It's sort of my mediocre forte. And there's only one reason someone would use a state. What's that reason? Well, a state. Well, normal government charters out property to other people, including itself. A state claims. Sovereignty over various areas of which which there might not be property that's chartered to them. In other words, they claim areas that have already been chartered to somebody else or for the public. And when you think about this, one thing always comes to mind is that what good is it for? I mean, what is accomplished out of that? Well, there's one thing that's accomplished out of that, and that's the opportunity to make an empire. Because now you have an ability to claim other nations, other areas. Even though their laws and your laws and their values, customs, charter property and public interest may be completely different from yours. But now you can obtain revenue from them. And with that you can build a nice empire. And this has created good. I'm not going to say that states have created nothing but evil. What happens after the empire has been made? What happens after the project is a success? Well, what happens is that what's left for the state to do, the, the empire is already made. Look at the Romans. Their empire is already made. And then what happened after that? What happened after they went from the Republic to the Empire and those great emperors, well then they had shitty emperors. They had shitty emperors that had no interest in the public or in the private matters. Even the state itself that they operated upon, they were only interested in ascending a hierarchy. Nothing more, nothing less. They were just as faithless in that society as probably the people that knew it was going to fall. I shouldn't be distracted while I do this, but whatever. And so what happens when you're in that kind of situation? Well, it's a lot like what's happening here. If you noticed... Probably back in the, a lot of people state the 50s and 40s, you know, post-World War II as the climax of the United States. This is the best it's ever going to be, and from there it goes downhill. Well, that may be true. It's only up until the mid-90s, the Clinton years, where hope really disappears. Why? Because at that point, now it's funny. Now politics isn't boring anymore. It's funny as hell. Not because the people in politics are charismatic, entertaining, brilliant, tell the truth, tell lies, provide historical value, but because it's a game now. I mean, Clinton and all that shit he was engaging himself in, Bush, the dumbass, Obama, the charismatic two-faced dork. Um, yeah, there was just 
lot of it now is more entertainment than anything else. Sorry. I'm not I'm not John Cena when I try to do that. It shouldn't be taking this long. But then again, I'm a clumsy ass motherfucker. Okay, so um at the way they talk to each other. It's like they're four-year-olds or not four-year-olds. It's moving up. Eh, I'm about to come. Eh. Eh. Success. Gotcha. All right. I hope. I mean, the nut is a little up. Let me push it down. Uh, is it aligned properly? I mean, I know that there's that little groove that should be in, but... This is my first time, guys. Hold on. Uh... uh. uh. I'll work on the tuning later. <sighs> Whole minute without saying it of that one. But anyway, what where do we infer from this? We infer that empires have done good economically, socially. States have done good consequentially. Well, obviously. But after that, where do you go? After all that economic brilliance, where do you go from there? Well, we have to go to a point where government still exists. State is more importantly still exists. But what's the state man there for? If the empire's already made, then what's he gonna do? Is he gonna try to preserve the quality of the empire? Does that even give him anything? Possibly. But... I don't think that'd be a very rewarding job. Self-sustaining an empire when we already have the components. The state, at that point, becomes worthless. So all those who participate in it, unless they're just there to govern are mostly there for themselves to ascend upon a hierarchy. After all, they can't make a double empire. They can't make the empire into a bigger world power. So what's there left to do? Anyway, I hope you guys like my video. I'm gonna make another one since there's just so much nothing to do and enjoy yourselves halfway there halfway there pray for me i know i know i made a eight minute video talking about the state like usual so let's have a bit of a resolve now that this is semi fixed shall we get better with technique guys